She struck Dutch Fork High School Tuesday. A football player died after collapsing on the field. They were scheduled to play Gaffney tonight. The 7 News' Sophia Radeball shows us how that rivalry has united this these two teams. Jack Alkatib was supposed to be walking on to this field tonight to play the Gaffney High School Indians. And instead, there's this poster of him hanging on the fence in his memory, even though the game was canceled and the Indians are playing a different team. They're still showing their support for the Dutch Fork community. 17 year old Jack Al Khatib, an offensive lineman at Dutch Fork High School, was at football practice Tuesday when he collapsed on the field and died. I remember waking up that morning and, and seeing, um, hearing about the situation. The upstate football community stunned by the news. It was a shock to all of us. Uh, because it could have been one of our kids. And the showdown between rivals Gaffney and Dutch Fork canceled. I remember telling my wife, first thing I don't want to hear about is if we're going to play Friday because someone just lost their life. And the Indians rescheduled their Friday game to play Somerville High School, but they aren't forgetting Dutch Fork, especially Al Khatib. And Al Stab jumped on it, sent flowers, um, and social media blew up with just a lot of uh, condolences and prayers and thoughts. At Friday's game, fans will see a poster with Al Khatib's picture on it as they walk in. Gaffney's Booster Club has set up a fundraiser for the family, and a portion of the money made at the game will also go to the family. Kind of started out as, as a way to let that community and that family know uh, that while we're rivals on the field, we're all still parents and we're all still in this together. Members of the Booster Club saying this just shows how much power a community can have when they come together. Sports always brings us together, but when something like this happens, even outside of our community, Gaffney is a great town to, to rally to the aid of people and just come out and show them support, whether it's monetary or, you know, food or anything. Gaffney's athletic director says they will hold a moment of silence, not only for Al Kati, but also a staff member at Gaffney High School, who he says died earlier this week. In Gaffney, Sophia Radeball, 7 News. If you want to and are able to give to that fund, you can send cash or a check to the school's district office. There's also a Venmo account set up. It's called at Gaffney Football Booster Club. Well, we are getting ready for week two. And